Almost 11 years after its runway closed, Kai Tak Airport remains a nostalgic reminder of Hong Kong's past. There's no doubting it was one of the most exciting approaches into any major city. Airplanes flew impossibly close to Kowloon's large residential blocks. They then banked steeply to avoid a hill and swooped down to land on a one-strip runway surrounded by water. These days, just minutes away from the desolate patch of wasteland, you can relive the adventure by steering a Boeing 737-800 of your own safely into Kai Tak. At the Flight Experience Simulator at Megabox in Kowloon Bay, a trained pilot such as Patrick here will take you through the steps. Today, I was scheduled to fly from Hong Kong's new airport, Chak Lap Kok, around Victoria Harbour, onto Macau and then back to Lantau before arriving at Kai Tak. First of all, for the control, this is called Control York. And if you want the aircraft calm, descent, turning, you can use by here. So if you want to calm the aircraft, no up, you just pull the control off. Okay, for turning as well, these two call airlines for turning. So if here uh, goes down, here goes up, the lift here will increase, decrease. So that means you can turn, roll to the left. Today we just climb to around 3,000 feet because Hong Kong is too small, we don't climb too high, right. we don't descend 2,000 feet per minute. Okay. That means one and a half minute later you will crash. Right. So still, you will keep the, the, the descent under control. Always check your uh, descent rate and maintain like below 1,000 feet per minute. Usually for normal approach, for Kai Tank, 800 feet per minute. It's difficult to teach you. I'm sure. Yeah. Because <laughs> you just have such a short time, right? Yeah, that's right, yes. But it's kind of fun yeah. to do something different here. Yeah. Cool. Oh, well, okay, let's, let's just right. try, okay? And so, after the briefing, I was now in the driving seat. Captain Patrick began flicking a number of switches and turning dials, and I began hurtling dangerously down the tarmac. Look at the definition. About 30 minutes later, the time to descend into Kai Tak arrived. It's difficult to see it here, but the attention to detail was amazing. You could even make out red and green top minibuses circling the old airport. This is the steep bank that I mentioned. And then the final descent, with the simulator warning me every step of the way. Finally, touchdown and on with the brakes. For the South China Morning Post, this is James Moore.